And of course, when it bangs your flowers, it doesn't just have one little flower on the actual, um, what they call cone. It has probably about a thousand of them. And they stick out like little needles and then they come out, each flower comes out. But when it dies and it has seed, like this one here, our people would break that off, put a hot coal in that little opening where the seed has come out of, and then it begins to smoulder. And that will just keep smouldering. And whenever you trans uh, travel to, from one place to another and you need to light fire again, instead of having to use sticks and rub them together, which is labour intensive, and if there's a lot of moisture in the air, then it really becomes hard work. So if you do it with this, you've got this smouldering. Uh, the women carried them under their bookers, their kangaroo skin cloaks. And when you got to wherever you were going, it was just a matter of scraping a few embers into the fine fluffy fibres and you had a fire going in a few minutes. So very, very useful. And also you'll notice in this one here, if I break it open and you look at that, you can see the fine fibres in there. And that also assists you with getting your fire going. So that's Putjan, the Banksia.